Okay, so I picked up a iPhone 15 the other day. It was my upgrade after several years from this iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I upgraded to an iPhone 11, no, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I ordered a case from this company here, and uh, I ordered the purple one, thinking that it was gonna be, you know, that dark, really dark, almost black purple, uh, yet yeah, no. Uh, Let's try lavender or pink. No, that's not cool. So, threw out all the options out and I ordered a clear one. That'll work. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, install that today. To take the old one off, this one, that I had on for about a day and a half now just to protect the phone. Pretty simple. There's this plastic ring here. All right. Make sure everything's pretty clean here. So according to the instructions, which don't make any sense at all, they don't tell you when to do these wipes or where to put these little guide strips, whatever, but I've done this enough times before. I mean, goodness, I've had iPhones since the iPhone 3GS, so I can figure it out. So. Make sure there's not any excess dust or anything. Then here's the uh, actual case I'm gonna use, the clear one, because the purple one that's lavender is not gonna work for me. I'm gonna pop this apart. There's a plastic ring in here. I love these cases. I've been using them for several years now. They work pretty, pretty stinking good. Gotta get them apart though. Don't need that plastic. So this plastic ring right here just fits over the phone just like this. Kind of snaps into place. That's kind of like your hard bumper around the edges if you're to drop it. And it's got this other rubber part here that kind of does all the other good stuff to keep your phone good to go. Now there should be a piece of plastic here that I gotta take off. Gotta get my finger underneath it. Get that out of there. And you don't wanna touch nothing down there because those things are nice and clear for your cameras. <clears throat> Go ahead and slide it in. And it kind of just snaps around it. Gotta work it a little bit. All right, we're in there. I hope my little old bugger. I gotta get that out of there. Get it fixed, right? This is a little rubber plug I got, a dust plug for the USB-C port. Let me get that back in there in the right way. That, kind of, that keeps all that dust lint and all that other garbage in your pocket from getting in there and messing things up. But she's back in there now. All that's together properly. So we got we got a wet wipe and a dry wipe, all right? And this is in preparation for putting the screen protector on that's inside of here. Since I ordered two of them, now I got four. There's a the screen protector. And once again, it doesn't tell you what side goes down. Of course. So what I'm guessing is, is that when you peel this off, this way, 
that side that gets exposed is the one that goes to your phone. And that makes the most sense to me. I've done this before. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these white, white, wet wipes out. And I'm going to clean I'm going to clean the surface of the screen. And when you're doing this, make sure you do not touch it with your fingers. Okay. All right, we're done with that wet one. And the dry one, I guess, I don't know, picks up stuff that's got a lit, you know, static electricity or something like that, whatever. That's my best guess. So, get the dry one out. Give it a good, good wipe down. According to the very basic instructions that have nothing specific on them, at all, because this is made in China. They don't want us to be smart. All you have to do is, oh, I just touched it. I gotta cut, I gotta clean it with a wet one again. I can't get it open. All right. All right, second cleaning, which actually, probably a good thing, honestly. Super clean. Why not? Clean it twice. Just dry one back on here. Don't touch that screen, Matt. Don't touch it. Okay. So, according to the instructions, all I have to do is once I peel the back of this off. I line it up, basically holding on the ends, and the actual case itself will line it up in there. So I've got four tries to do this right because I got four of these. Get that off. I'm gonna hold it on the very ends without touching that side. I should be able to just watch it stick down. Not perfectly though. Cover that bubble. I've never had one of these go perfectly, so. Just a little bit of a, oh, I got it. There's just a little bit of one right there. I'm not worried about it. Now I think I'm trying to make an emergency call. Okay, there you go. My new iPhone 15 is all protected and ready for some abuse. This one's taken a lot of abuse uh, since Oh goodness, 2020, I think. Something like that. Let's see. This is the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max, 64 gigabyte. This one is the 256 gigabyte. That's the smallest they have now. Well, let's check 
inside this one and see how much dirt and junk is built up in it. Quite a bit. This case is yellowed a whole bunch. It used to be clear. Eh, well, that goes in the trash. And then get this plastic ring off. Gee, there's a bunch of dirt in the end right there. Pocket lint. I have to clean it up before I trade it in. But it kept this phone in really, really nice condition. There's no dings or scratches whatsoever. The screen is in perfect condition. Matter of fact, I'm going to peel this uh, screen protector off. Oh, that's satisfying. Look at that. Nothing needs to get a wipe down, a little bit of cleaning because there's some dirt and junk on it. But AT&T is giving me 700 bucks for this phone. And it's five years old. Well, four, four years old. As a trade-in for the new one. Not a bad deal, actually. There you go. Upgrade. iPhone 11 Pro Max to iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've been doing this since the iPhone 3GS. See you on the next video.